This is a beer can, which is surprising because that's the name of the beer, beer can. This is by Moondog and it is a tropical lager. Ever had a tropical lager before? No, me neither. Let's see what this one's going to taste like. Check out the review. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're doing another beer from this month's Beer 52 Melbourne box. This is the beer. It is called Beer Can because it, that's exactly what it is. It's a beer can. Uh, this is by Moondog uh, Craft Brewery in Melbourne and it's called a Tropical Lager. Now I've never heard any lagers be described as tropical lager so i'm not quite sure if you're going to have a sort of tropical parallel that they're calling a lager or if it's a lager which is tropical i mean that's the same thing isn't it but you know i don't know what makes a lager a lager when you when it's a tropical flavor it's certainly something that i have never tasted before uh, but i expect it to be you know well let's see what it's like actually i don't know what it's going to be like I'm spouting on already. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm trying to get my head around what a tropical lager could really be. Um, so let's pour it out. Maybe it's going to look like a lager, but taste, we have a sort of tropical taste. So I'm expecting quite high levels of carbonation, a nice light and crisp. I mean, beer in the glass, it does look like a, well, it actually looks a bit like a parallel because there's a bit more yellow in there. It's not as clear as a lot of lagers. There's a slight haze there. Um, the bubbles are moving up quite quickly. We've got a, you know, quite a light sort of light space. The bubbles are quite sort of spaced out on the top. We've got, you know, one and a bit finger head. Um, yeah, so I, I would say it looks more like a parallel. So um, let's see what it's going to be like aromas wise. Yeah, I mean, there's a slight sort of tropical smell. For me, it, it's got pale all over it, really, in terms of the um, the aroma, the look of it. You, you know, I expect it to be quite light and thin, light, high, highly carbonated, which a lot of these Australian beers are like. Let's see what it tastes. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I mean, it is very carbonated. It's very, very light. It has that sort of lager, easy drinking, but there's a slight sort of tropical taste on there. Um, but it's so thin and light. I mean, alcohol-wise, 4.2%, it's pretty low. Um, but again, it's another beer from this month's box, which is completely... I think launched at the wrong time. I'm sure Beer 52 said, oh, well, let's launch, you know, everyone's going to be sort of cold and miserable and they want to think about the summer and, you know, look, hopefully look forward to that. So let's give them a box of beer that reminds them of summer. But it's just really weird drinking these very sort of easy drinking summer-like drinks. Um, beer now looking in the glasses, the head has literally disappeared. It's you know, it looks very sort of like, well, a bit like washing up liquid, really, to some extent. It doesn't taste like that. It tastes quite nice. It's really light. It's very sort of, I mean, it's always water. It's like a very, very light beer. In terms of the sort of, I mean, it's it's got a very sort of, um, I hate to say it, but it's like a very sort of poor man's lager, like a not even like the sort of Carling Fosters, but something even lighter, you know, like a Budweiser or a Coors Light, a very, very light um, lager. i tell you what it's a little bit like. Um, if everyone's tried the Brewdog Lost Lager, it's a, it's a bit like that. And, and as you drink it, you think, yeah, there is something else in there. There is a slight, I mean, I can only really describe it as fruitiness, really, because you're not going, oh yeah, that's got pineapple or a mango or grapefruit or any sort of tropical impassion fruit, papaya, any of those sort of tropical sort of fruits. It's just a slightly fruity flavour that just gives it a little bit more than just your sort of lager. But because it's so light and thin and watery, the flav flavour just sort of goes and it is quite carbonated. The only thing positive about it is it's so light that you can knock them back really quickly. You know, 
but you know you're trying to find some taste there um, and it's very lacking it doesn't have that nice sort of bite the maltiness of a lager and yet it doesn't have the any sort of body or enough fruit flavor um, in there to be a pearl or an ipa it's a it's a real sort of you know it's almost like we've got this really bad lager but we sort of we needed something to put in it to make it a bit fruity i mean it doesn't say here anything about the hops or anything like that it's it's the sort of beer that if you're just starting off on your craft beer journey you think oh it's a little bit different than your normal lager but it, which it is but if you're used to drinking craft beer you know your ipas uh, from your parallels and your and those sort of beers and you've had this for the first time you began this is just it's very lacking it is it's almost like a beginner's um craft beer you know it's not dissimilar to going to some going to aldi for example and buying a couple of their craft beers you know very lacking you're sort of like oh are these lagers are they parallels you know what are they they're just they're just a bit different and this is a bit lacking in everything okay let's get some scores Okay, the scores are in for Moondog's Beer Can, a tropical lager, which, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. It's not horrible, um, and sometimes some of these beers that are, you know, in my opinion, if they're too bitterness in there or you know it's just too piney you know it, it, it's not it doesn't i don't get enjoyment from it this one doesn't have that there's no bitterness in it but it's lacking in about just about everything so firstly aroma i mean the aroma from this yeah i mean it smells like a sort of weak lager shandy with a slight fruitiness but it's slight in every single way and it smells a little bit watery and lacking so i can only give it nine out of 20 for aroma appearance well i'm a little bit disappointed it poured you know it didn't pour look like a lager it poured like a palau but look at the state of that i mean it's as flat now as anything a really poor head it's not the greatest so i'm giving it only six out of ten for appearance flavor wise so let's describe the flavor i mean it, it does have a lager taste with a little bit of a tropical fruit so but it's almost similar to some of those really you know you get these lagers and they've got like a lager and lime for example a lager and a bit of grapefruit or a bit of you know they've got an artificial sort of flavoring in them not the hops that's giving it the flavor and this is what this is like it's got a very sort of slight fruity i wouldn't even say tropical i would just say fruity because it's sort of lemony and limey you know and the other flavors i'm really struggling to find you know just it's just it's very lacking in terms of a real distinct flavor and obviously but it's like on a very bad weak lager as well so it does doesn't doesn't do anything for it at all you know it masks how bad the lager is even though it's still pretty bad so flavor wise so it's a pretty low score i mean i mean it's not horrible it's not over bitter it's it's okay you can drink it really easy because it's so light um, but i'm giving it a 28 for flavor value for money well we're back you know again it's a uh, moon dog seems to do these uh free thirsty meals so it's not even the 375 i can you know and it's low in alcohol and it's got very limited taste so i'm giving it a seven um in fact no i'm going to change it i'm going to give it a six six out of ten because i think it's it's even more lacking than a lot of the the beers there's nothing really to it it's just a you know i can go to aldi and i could buy a 99p can of that sort of size and it'd have more taste in it so for three quid it's it, you know i can give it six out of ten and then my overall experience with it as i said it's not horrible it doesn't taste horrible it just doesn't taste really of anything it's a poor man's lager with a poor bit of fruitiness into it um and I, i'm very disappointed i mean it it looks pretty dead and that's pretty much described that sort of sums up the taste i can only give it nine because actually you know it's not it's only a step up flavor wise and water you know actually i've had some of the non-alcohol beers that have got more flavor than that beer uh, that's how bad it is so nine out of 20 for sorry for overall experience so we top those scores up and we're getting a 58 it's one of an all-time low i mean it isn't horrible i, I want to state that it's not a horrible beer but there's no redeeming features um 
with this beer at all it's just it's just very meh very nothing you know so 59 58 sorry that's the cold play of beers bland i think that's a good description you know it's bland it's nothing to it you know there's nothing exciting about it it's just boring so unfortunately it's a not recommended beer and you know at the moment this is definitely the lowest score of the uh the beer 52 melbourne box hope you enjoyed the review if you want to get all the reviews for all the beer 52 before anyone else on the internet there we go there's a bold saying then please like and subscribe you'll get notified every time i do a beer 52 review as i said i get the beers for whatever reason much seems to be much quicker than a lot of other people um so i'm getting those reviews out much quicker um and if you want to get an idea of the sort of you know quality of the beer then please like and subscribe and you'll get notified so hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one keep on rocking